So today we will discuss about the how to produce oxygen for COVID-19 patients. So it is most important for all over the world. Actually, this Allah is Almighty. Allah is giving oxygen fully free. We are getting oxygen. We are getting oxygen from the environment fully free. And Allah also balancing everything. You know, this oxygen percentage in the air is to one percent. If less than nineteen percent. Not possible to take it from men. So it is most important. Allah is doing everything. So today's process is how to produce oxygen from the atmospheric air. So we know in the atmospheric air, oxygen percentage is 21 percent oxygen and 78 percent nitrogen and around 1 percent another gases. So another gases means argon, carbon dioxide, and other gases in the air. So from this percentage, now only 21% oxygen. So, but for COVID patients, oxygen percentage is required more than 90%. 92 95%. Okay? So how to produce oxygen more than 90 to 95%? Today we will discuss about this. So for the producing this uh, oxygen, we have to use PSA unit. PSA means Pressure, swing, absorption. Pressure, swing, or absorption. This pressure by this pressure, swing, absorption system, we can produce oxygen for the COVID-19 pressure. So pressure, swing, absorption. This meaning for producing oxygen lead to high pressure around. 5 to 9 kg pressure and uh, this swing, swing means pressure one time increase and another time decrease. Uh, in air, normally 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, nitrogen. So our required only oxygen and nitrogen anyhow need to release. For the releasing nitrogen, PSA unit, we will use geolite molecular sieve. So geolite molecular sieve, main function of the geolite molecular sieve for the absorbing the nitrogen. So geolite molecular sieve, all nitrogen absorb and oxygen will pass. So when oil pressure reduce, at that time all nitrogen will be released in the atmosphere. By this system, we are producing oxygen. Pressure, normally atmospheric pressure around one bar. So for the increasing pressure, we need to use compression. So for that reason, we are using compression. You think this is compressor? By, By this compressor, we will take environment air and compressed air will go to the mist well eliminator. So mist well eliminator collect some condensate. In the air have some condensate, some yeah. oil. So this mixing. oil collect by this mist well separator and finally we will re release this oil or condensate by the solenoid bulb. So this downside one solenoid bulb Normally it is automatically release the condensate. If automatically not release, sometime need to push the solenoid bulb for releasing the condensate. Condensate This is automatically released. If automatically not working, need to doing this by manually. After passes through the mist wells eliminator, it will go to the where? carbon filter. This local side, this filter available. If possible, after I will also show you in the control, okay? Carbon filter. So by this filter also, if some carbon or carbon dioxide are remaining in the air, it will pass through this condensate trap. This side also one condensate trap. By this condensate trap, it will also pass through the atmospheric, okay? After it will go to the air buffer tank. Yes, you will. After you go to the air buffer tank. Air buffer tank, okay? This is a compressor. This is a mist eliminator. Mist eliminator. Eliminator. And this is carbon filter. Carbon filter. And this is air buffer. Okay. After this, okay, clear? 
after it will go to the pressure swing adsorption unit so like this this air this side air around more than 6 kg other molecule maximum reduce by this eliminator this eliminator and this carbon filter only now remaining oxygen and nitrogen now main target to reduce the nitrogen from this air because our required only oxygen and oxygen purity required more than 90% so for that reason we are using this pressure pressure swing adsorption actually main purpose of this video for encouraging the people for making oxygen plant due to oxygen shortage many people are died for that reason i thought if i make one video it will be maybe helpful for some video if you like this video please subscribe my channel now this air it will go to the pressure swing adsorption unit so pressure swing adsorption unit <coughs> main function of the pressure swing adsorption unit this are two vessel this vessel fill up with zeolite molecule main function of the zeolite molecule for the adsorb the nitrogen from the air so this side zeolite molecule are available so when passes through this zeolite molecule this zeolite molecule will collect the nitrogen and fresh air passes through this on the oxygen tank or storage tank so how it is working this set two vessel one vessel continue circuit another vessel continue regeneration uh, if it is continuous process not stopping if it is stopping that time this set pressure will come down it is running that time it is regeneration condition when it is uh, running service that time it will go to the regeneration So how it will work? When this air will go, this valve will open. You think this is tank A and this is tank B. You think this tank A now in service, tank B now in regeneration condition. So when air passes this valve open condition, and this valve also will be open, okay? And this valve also will be open. That time what will happen? This valve will be closed. this valve will be open and this side also one valve this valve continue open condition so what will happen this air will passes through this uh, vessel and it will go to on the oxygen storage tank around more than 90% purity in that time this pressure will depressurize when depressurize this nitrogen will remove on the atmosphere when pressure is tend this might nitrogen will adsorb the molecule when pressure reduced this nitrogen you like nitrogen reduce when pressure reduce this nitrogen will reduce by this system for that reason it is called a pressure swing adsorption when pressure increasing oxygen passes when pressure decreasing nitrogen passes understand so that time this Valve open and it will be this nitrogen or nitrogen going then to the atmosphere. Okay. So when this pressure coming down, that time what will happen? This side one equalization valve. Okay. This side one equalization valve. This equalization valve will open for the maintaining the pressure because empty vessel. If you put more air pressure, that time possible to some vibration, some sound, some abnormal sound. This one equalization, equalization is required. So this is equalization valve. This equalization valve will open for short time for the equalizing the vessel. After ten minutes, this all this zeolite molecule, all nitrogen will collect. So after collecting, this vessel need to go regeneration. So that time, what will happen? This valve will be open, debust. When this equalization complete, so that time this valve will open. and this valve will close and this valve will open this valve will open this air go to this because this you like now active condition they can now adsorb all nitrogen from the air so this valve will be open after opening this valve this side the zeolite molecule this, this zeolite molecule all nitrogen will collect only fresh air transfer 
So from this, uh, by this way, this fresh air will go to this side. This bulb will be open, okay? And this bulb will reverse, okay? By this way, this all air accumulated on the oxygen storage tank. So from this oxygen storage tank, normally in some medical or somewhere, if like this oxygen storage tank, they are giving one line directly on the medical side. They can take from this uh, from this line by cylinder. But some plant they are using this is not available in our plant. Some plant they are using booster pump for the pressuring pressurizing the cylinder. Okay, if you want to try to make oxygen, this is also possible. Okay, I am telling you again, PSA nitrogen unit and PSA oxygen unit almost same, only difference the catalyst. Okay, this PSA nitrogen unit, we are using the CMS, carbon molecular sieve, and PSA oxygen unit, we will use only geo like molecular sieve. So carbon molecular sieve main function only they will collect the oxygen and geo like molecular sieve it will absorb the nitrogen. Geo like that. Geo like. Okay, so PSA nitrogen unit and PSA oxygen unit main difference only the catalyst. If we use catalyst carbon molecular sieve, this plant will be the Nitrogen plant, PSA nitrogen plant. If we use here geolite molecular seed, from this plant possible to produce oxygen for the COVID-19 patient. So maximum plant, they are using this nitrogen plant, they are not using oxygen plants. But nowadays COVID-19 is many people are dying about this oxygen. For that reason, I will suggest to everyone, if anyone wants, they can start this plant. It is cost also very less. They can start easily. Okay? So some plant they are using BPSA. B P S A. What is the meaning of BPSA? Bequam, pressure swing, swing absorption. So BPSA, Bequam, Bequam, pressure swing absorption. So BPSA only one difference. They will use at one line and it will, they will use one booster pump here. This booster pump reduce this vessel pressure. This booster pump reduce this vessel pressure quickly. Reduce this vessel pressure. And some plant also they are using cryogenic oxygen unit also possible. Nitrogen, cryogenic nitrogen uh, temperature how much? You know minus one hundred ninety six degrees centigrade. If oxygen you you want to reduce up to this cryogenic point, that time this oxygen temperature will come in minus one hundred eighty four degree. Centigrade. Minus 184 degrees centigrade will come. That time it is possible to reserve as a liquid. <laughs> so, any question about this plant? Short breathing.